But one question remains, will there be enough eyes watching the water as many lifeguards head back to school? NBC10 Jersey Shore Bureau reporter Tim Greenberg explains how at least one beach town is tackling a yearly late summer challenge to maintain that safety. Several days of water temps in the 70s, bringing smiles to the surf in Avalon. For many weeks before this, it was on the colder side, definitely. It's getting a lot warmer now that we're later in August. It feels great. It's so hot today. It feels great just to jump in. It's the time of year when beach patrols at the Jersey Shore deal with dwindling ranks as many lifeguards head back to school. Avalon is no exception. But this summer, authorities say they'll have more guards watching the water late in the season than they have in the past. I think we're doing very well compared to most shore towns. We're probably doing better than even we've ever done. The coastal community plans to have 22 protected beaches open through Labor Day. We're going to have a decent amount of mix of experience and younger guards, and we'll definitely be able to cover our advertised beaches. That makes you feel safe. The starting pay for lifeguards here in Avalon is more than $19 an hour. That's one of the highest rates along the Jersey Shore. Officials say that's helped them keep more guards around for the end of the summer. They get a $50 a day bonus after August 15th. I would say that the, the money has helped, and I would say that we've hired some people that can stay until the end of the summer. That was something that we looked at when we were hiring guards in the beginning of the year. Strategies focused on safety as summer winds down. Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News.